What's up everyone, Eric here from Hardware for Gamers, and today, it's time to make some vent holes. So I guess this makes this video part two on how to fix the MSI Bravo 15. Now I'm gonna say right off the bat that I do not recommend anyone try this. So if you actually try this, you're trying this at your own risk. I am not taking any responsibility of you guys doing something as stupid as this. And before I get started, I just wanted to say that I paid for this laptop with my own money. So please subscribe as, a, as well as like and share because there is a chance that I'm about to brick this 1000 US dollar laptop. So yeah, please subscribe. Now I have watched Tim from Hammer on Box. Wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. That would be Tim from Hardware Unboxed. He did something similar to an ASUS Tough A15. Now Tim did a really great job on explaining the issues on changing the airflow of a laptop and that doing this is not a good idea. If any of you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Now I'm also gonna take this one step further by actually removing the cooling assembly to repaste the CPU and GPU dies. And this is to see if the thermal conductivity of the stock paste is an issue. Now I've already re-ran my temperature testing for both the CPU and gaming. And I ran these tests with the performance level set to high and the fan set to cooler boost. The CPU test is to render the barbershop scene in Blender. This took about 15 minutes and the average CPU temperature was 89.7 Celsius with the max temperature being 95 Celsius. So it actually hit thermal max. For the gaming temperature test, I ran Firestrike in a loop for 20 minutes and the average CPU temperature was 89 Celsius with the max temperature being 98.5 Celsius. And for the GPU, the average hotspot temperature was 86 Celsius with the max hotspot temperature being 92 Celsius. And all these temperatures were taken in a room that was at 24 Celsius. So I guess it is time to open up the MSI Bravo 15.
Okay, so it's been two days since I opened up the Bravo 15, which gave me plenty of time to run all the tests that I wanted to and needed to, and the results I got actually surprised me. Starting off with the CPU test again, I repasted using MX4, that's Arctic MX4, and I got almost a 14 Celsius drop to the average temperature over the stock test, and a 10 Celsius drop to the max temperature. And as you can see, adding the holes or the slits did not reduce the temperatures any further. I also want to add not only were the temperatures much lower, but the CPU frequencies were actually on average 150 megahertz faster, which reduced the time to render the scene by 40 seconds or about four and a half percent. For the gaming temperature test, the average CPU temperature was around 70 C with a few spikes maxing out at around 89 C. For the GPU, the average hotspot temperature was 81 Celsius, with the max hotspot temperature being at 86 Celsius. So that's just about a 5 Celsius drop over the stock test. And with no surprise, the memory temperatures didn't change. Now I did actually change out the VRAM thermal pads, but obviously that didn't change anything. Now I also checked the SSD and RAM temperatures versus stock, and there was no difference. So as you can see, there is no reason whatsoever to actually put holes or slits into the underside of the Bravo 15. However, repasting the CPU and GPU dies with a mid to high range thermal paste does seem like it might be worth it. With all that being said, I do urge you to proceed with caution if you wish to repaste the CPU and GPU because it is really not very difficult to severely damage the laptop if you're opening it up and taking out the cooler. And you do also have to keep in mind that this is a sample size of one. So all these temperatures I'm showing you, you will have to kind of take with a grain of salt because you might not quite get as drastic of results. I, I'm not really too sure because I was not expecting the CPU to drop as much as it did. I was expecting kind of like what the GPU did with the like five Celsius is what I was kind of expecting, but the GPU dropping or the CPU rather dropping that much was quite a shock. So keep that in mind if you are going to try to repaste. Now, if you do decide to try and repaste, make sure you do have one millimeter thermal pads for the VRAM because the stock thermal pads will be destroyed when you remove the cooler. So that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, please subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. Uh, I have a Discord server. The link is in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.